What's going on, Quotation Nation? Quote by Lee coming at you with another Pokemon competitive review. Today, we are going to be looking at a couple cool Pokemon and talking about their competitive viability. And we are not alone today. Today, we are joined by our good friend and subscriber, Tortoises. What's up, people? What is up? Okay, so like I said, we're going to be looking at some Pokemon. Um, if you're excited for this video, go ahead and hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And make sure you leave your comments down below and let us know what you think about the Pokemon we're going to review and if you think they will be competitive or not. So you can see on your screen, uh, we got the list of Pokemon on the Pokemon website here. And we're going to be taking a look at Crab Brawler first off. So this is the... Um, boxing Pokemon. He's got that fighting type. Two feet, um, 15 pounds, with Hyper Cutter, which is a trash ability, and then Iron Fist, which is a pretty pretty good ability. So um, let's talk a little bit design-wise. What do you think, Tortoises, about this Pokemon's design? He's got an excellent hairdo. I'll give him that. <laughs> Very nice. No doubt, no doubt. Um, I think design-wise, he looks pretty good. I like that his... Uh, his claws or pincers or whatever, or boxing gloves. I think it's really original. Um, and I like that I like we're how getting it's like half his mass. Yeah, it's yeah. It's pretty awesome. And I like we're getting another um, crab Pokemon because we haven't had any uh, crab Pokemon since uh, Krabby and Kingler from uh, Gen 1, which is really, really cool. Um, color wise, I think it's pretty much perfect. The blue and purple looks good. And yeah, so design wise, pretty good. Now, let's talk about from a competitive standpoint. Um, Iron Fist, obviously, boosting the power of punching type moves by 20%. Um, we've seen Pokemon like uh, Infernape really, really benefit from this move. And I guess it's, it's mostly going to depend on his move pool, honestly. If he's going to learn, you know, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, then I can really see him being good. Um, but if he's only going to learn most of the fighting type moves, I don't think it, Think he's gonna be that good what do you think uh competitively can you see this guy being used or what definitely with the elemental punches he's gonna be a contender yeah like you said the fighting stuff though like you got to mix it up with the elements mm -hmm. to be able to have a chance yeah especially especially ice punch he's got to at least learn ice punch because most a lot of people they're using uh, uh what's that guy's name right now oh garchomp which is a dragon uh ground type so Ice Punch would do four times effective damage, and I think I think he could be used pretty good. Um, it's honestly it's gonna depend on his evolution, which we've seen uh, in the uh, leaks that we got from the data miners. Link will be in the description to that video. By the way, go ahead and check it out. Pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, I, I think if he's got enough bulk, I think he'll have a good, um, good. Uh, what am I trying to say? Good HP stat. Good defenses, uh, decent defenses at least. So I can I could see him becoming a bulky physical attacker. But yeah. other than that, I don't know. If I were to place him in a tier, I'd probably say he's going to be like low UU or high NU. Um, what do you think? Do you think he's going to be higher placed or is he going to be lower placed tier? Probably around lower place, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah. of depends on his evolution as well, though. Yeah, it, it does depend. And I, I want to see him get a second typing added to the fighting typing because that could really make the difference and help him out as well. Um, what else is there to say about this guy? Not not a whole bunch. We don't have too much information from him. Um, but that is Crib Brawler. Um, as far as Pokemon Go, if I was going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10... Uh, for competitive use, I'd probably put him at about a 6.5 to a 7. Um, like I said, he's not going to be lowest tier. I think he'll be mid to low high tier. Um, and that is Crab Brawler. So, any last thoughts on this guy before we move on? No, that's about it for this guy. That is it. Okay, so the next two Pokemon we're going to look at... Um, are actually going to be Lycanroc, the midday form, and the midnight form. And we kind of discussed them a little bit when we had, um, who was the person that we discussed it with? I think we had the lane train on that video. We discussed it a little bit, but we didn't go too in-depth, so we're going to take a look at it today. We'll start with the midday form. Um, what do you think about this guy right off the bat when you take a look at him? I personally like him more than the midnight form. 
just because oh, really? his hairdo is, is a little less uh, over the top oh. on this one. I mean, it, it looks good. I mean, it looks like a wolf Pokemon. It looks pretty much perfect yeah. as far as design goes. I am a fan of the Midnight more because I love werewolves. Um, but yeah, this guy, he looks good. Um, abilities, uh, he has Keen Eye, which is useless, and Sandrush, which is really good, especially if you're going to pair him with like a Hippowdon or a Tyranitar to set up the sand, give him that boost. Um, he's kind of small, honestly. He's only 2 feet 7 inches, which I was actually surprised about. I thought he'd be a little bit bigger. Um, dwarf Pokemon. So this guy, um, we, we've talked about rock typing isn't terrible weak to fighting, it's weak to grass, and it's weak to uh, water. So he doesn't have the most weaknesses. Um, and he's, he's not too bad competitively. Rock is actually pretty good. It hits flying, fire, bug. So it's not awful. I think his move pool could be good. What, do you think this guy's going to be uh, semi-competitive or what? He's definitely versatile as a rock type. Um, Definitely got that going for him. He's got that speed going for him, which is why he's he's smaller. He's probably more of a coyote type than a wolf type. Yeah. For giving him an advantage. Yeah, and that's that's the biggest difference I see between um, the midday and midnight form. I feel like this guy's going to be faster because he's on his four legs. Exactly. Um, and the other one's on two legs. Um, this guy also gets a move um, called Excel Rock, which is a priority rock type, which I think is fantastic because... So far in the meta, all all I see whenever I play is Talonflame, which is flying fire type. So having a priority rock type move to just knock it out in one hit, I'm so happy to see this Pokemon. It pretty much completely counters uh, Talonflame, which I'm honestly tired of seeing because it's all I see every day. Yeah, we needed a balance for that, definitely. Yeah. Okay, now let's uh, let's take a quick look at the Midnight form. Design-wise, I like this guy a lot. Like I said, um, I like Werewolf Pokemon. His eye looks sweet. Um, he does have a huge comb-over <laughs> type of haircut. But I think he looks good. He looks evil. And I love evil Pokemon. Um, he almost he looks, looks like... Uh, the the werewolf from uh, Harry Potter, kind of scrawnier um, little guy, instead of like a Van Helsing werewolf, where they're giant and ripped. But, um, again, stays with the rock typing, keen eye, again, and vital spirit, which both of those move, those abilities are kind of garbage. So hopefully he'll get uh, a good hidden ability that is actually useful. And honestly, this guy, he sucks competitively just from looking at him so far. He doesn't get any special moves. He gets counter, which they try to say is like, oh, he can learn this move. It's special for him. Well, not really. A lot of Pokemon can learn counter. It's not that great of a move. So I don't know what they're thinking. Um, what do you think about this guy? Yeah, he definitely is lacking on the competitiveness. Um... I'm not seeing anything too special about this guy other than his looks. Yeah. He looks yeah, his his looks are a lot better in my opinion. But I can't yeah. see him I can't see him getting out of the N U tier, honestly, which is pretty low. Um and I actually I think the midday form could possibly be high U U tier, possibly low O U tier, just depending on its move pool. And who knows, maybe this guy will have a really good um ability um, that will make him competitive, and I could see him. I could see him getting a uh, some of the punch moves, maybe. And I don't know, but the one thing I do think that this guy is gonna have over the midday form, because um, the midday form does seem faster. I think this guy's gonna be a little bit bulkier, a little bit better defenses, so he can take the hits and then be able to dish out some pretty good damage. But still, with that typing, it's just uh, not the best. Okay, any last thoughts on this guy? Or the uh, no. midday form? Um, okay, let's, let's go ahead and talk about our last Pokemon for this video, which is going to be one of my top Pokemon. If you saw my uh, top 10 Pokemon from the Alola region, 
you know that this guy is high on the list. He's actually my number two Pokemon on uh, Pokemon that we've seen so far. We are talking about Pew Kamuku, the sea cucumber Pokemon, my boy, living large. Okay, um, right off the bat, I love his design. Honestly, he's perfect. A sea cucumber is what he looks like. His story or whatever all the information they give you is kind of sad. They just chuck him back in the sea. But I think he's fantastic. What do you think of this guy right off the bat? It's very simplistic, but I think he has that going for him. I like his uh, Japanese character thing he's got on mm. his face. That's pretty cool. He has like a nose. Yeah, that's yeah, actually think... his mouth. Um, right. If you watch the, uh, if you watch the, I think it's in the trailer. Um, he actually like punches because it's like it spilled because that's what uh, sea cucumbers do, right? They spill out all their guts, so he can like spill out yeah. his guts through his mouth and punch, which I think is fantastic. That's um, incredible. And then. His innards out ability, I think this is why he's going to be competitive, and which is why we're kind of talking about him in this video. Um, I'll just read what they have uh, written down here. So it says, Pio Kamuku has a new ability, innards out, which no other Pokemon has had before. With the innards out ability, when this Pokemon faints, it will be able to deal one last bit of damage to its opponent, equal to the amount of HP it had left before it re uh, received the final blow. So, for those of you who don't know what that means, I'll give you an example. Let's say he has 50 HP, and he's going up against like a Pikachu. Pikachu hits him with a Thunderbolt. He gets knocked out, then he will deal 50 damage to the Pikachu. So I think it's going to be competitive because in single battles, you can switch him in to take a damaging hit that's going to knock him out, to deal that little bit of damage you need to finish him up with maybe one of your faster Pokemon on the team. Um, so I think he'll be, I, I'm not going to say he's going to be like OU tier, but I can definitely see him being used competitively a lot on singles teams. What do you think about his ability and uh, do you think he'll be able to mesh well with other teams? Yeah, his innards out ability is definitely my favorite ability. That's going to give him a competitive edge to your team that honestly I haven't seen before. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, it's really, really good. And I, I love the water typing. It's the most used typing that uh, is in the game. Only has two weaknesses, grass and electricity, which makes it good. And most water type Pokemon get decent move pools. Um, do you think, because his design is so simplistic, do you think he's going to have very much bulk to him or good defenses? Or do you think he's gonna his stats will be used somewhere else? I think he might actually have good defense because you might underestimate him based on his mm -hmm. looks, but but where it comes to count, I think he's got it. Yeah. All right. Well, that is Pew Kamuku. Not too much else to say. I think he's definitely going to be used. Um, I, I'm going to be using him. As soon as I can find this guy in-game, I'm going to be adding him to my team because I think he's so cool. Um, I would like to see an evolution. I don't think we're going to get one. We didn't see any in the leaks. But, yeah, this guy, I think he's going to be competitive. So we'll just do a quick overview. So we talked about Crab Brawler. Um, not going to be too competitive in our opinion. Getting a decent ability, but it's really going to depend on its evolution. We talked about Lycanroc, Midday, and the Midnight Form. Midday being a faster, um, probably better Pokemon, especially with its abilities. And Midnight Form being awesome looking, but not having the moves to back it up and then Pio Kamuku the god uh, who will be taking on everybody and dishing out damage as well as taking hits to deal that last bit of needed damage on the Pokemon. So if you guys liked this video then go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and like it, leave your comments. Do you think these Pokemon are going to be competitive or not? Um, just let us know. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, guys, if you're not hydrating, you're dehydrating. Quote by Lee.